and my poor little my younger daughter she came in her little heart was racing yeah she says guys i will murder you <laughs> Some council tenants in Newington have spoke about feeling um, unsafe um, on their estates. What will you do to help keep people safe in and around their homes? Since 2010, you know, we've experienced um, the Labour Party. I've been in charge of, you know, the, um, the ward, and um, we've seen the amount of cuts that they've made. If we do win, we're also trying to recruit at least 100 more wardens. I think you should have more wardens. I think you should have more people walking across the estate late at night and early in the morning. I've never heard from anyone like asking or, or offering any services about more security or you know, nothing. Since 2010, when the uh, Liberal Democrats were in government with the Conservative Party, um, there's been a two-thirds th uh, two uh, cut in real terms in terms of the budget that the council gets. Now, decisions are made like that. The co local council has to take action in terms of where to prioritise its funding. So I think if, you're, if we're going to lay the blame at any party in particular, the Liberal Democrats have to take... Well, we haven't been in government for seven years. So you guys, you, you know, we, we're not in government no more. So, you know, well, <laughs> the last time the Lib Dem was in government was what? When was that? Well, I, I, I mean, absolutely, you made a point around... Uh, that Labour cuts, um, the council has to make some difficult decisions about where to where to fund uh, and, and what to prioritise. Well, clearly we are not being prioritised. That's why, clearly. I think they're having a, a, a little argument. Yeah. What would you do to make people feel safe? Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Um, I think the funding's a broader point. I think there's actually there's tangible things that we need to be to, to be doing to, to keep people safe. And I live on a council estate in London. Uh, I know that. Uh, parts of that make me feel quite uneasy because the, the lighting in some areas is quite dark, some of it's very bright, um, it doesn't make people feel safe and I say that as a male, I know that, that those feelings are heightened when it comes to uh, women. It might structure your day, do you, do you have to worry about Yeah definitely, home so time? if I come home late at night, you prefer me to walk the main road, so I walk all the way yeah, around. Yeah, someone so get someone road. to walk with you. <laughs> yeah, either someone mm. walks with me back through here or I go all the way around the main roadway and come out this way and then Neil will stand on the balcony and watch me come, come down the road. The little garden area, the, mm. the, the plants, they added light before there was no light and people would just sit there with their hoodies in the dark. Really? Yeah, and I just feel like that's kind of creepy though. Why are you just sitting there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh no. Um, that's, but now they added the light, which is actually really nice. So when I'm coming back from work, for example, and it's quite dark, um, it's nice to be able to see whether there's someone there, there's someone maybe hiding. With initiatives and actions that you know we think might keep people safe, but if it's not uh, tapping into what people are telling us on at home, then it's probably um, uh, likely to, to fail. So but this has been um, going on for years and years. When is it going to change? Currently, it's very obvious that um, the residents of Southwark and Newington do not feel listened to. Yes, they've been consulted, council but they had no, I mean, they, 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 they they're board put out this. The only time you get the, the council come round is like now when it's coming out to, to vote in for some get party in. Then they come knocking on your door. If they really, if they're serious about representing the people, then they need to speak to the actual people getting the work done, mm. not listen to what the council, what is being said within the council office. I think it's it's a bit of an indictment that they've already tried to speak to the council and feel that they have not been listened to. There's no control. I mean, it's a haze of weed most nights when you walk through this area. You know, but if if cops walked through and did something about that, perhaps they just or even cared a little bit. You get all the um, drug people all walking around, all throwing up by the football pitch, waiting for their person to come along and give them their fix, which is disgusting. Kids are going to school. So there's a guy dancing around with a knife in the middle of the day outside our, one of the windows downstairs. Yeah. Because my door has been booted through, through a few times. Because you had your motorbike stolen, um, didn't you? Uh, and, um, motorbike stolen, had a saxophone stolen. <laughs> I'm just worried for, for, for my grandchild, you know, not being able to go out and, and have a phone or not being able to walk the streets wondering whether you're going to get mugged or wondering if someone's just going to come up and, and put a knife at you because that's what's happening.